Sum and Property Group, the country's largest mall owner, is buying Taubman Centers, the smaller rival that it has had its eye on for nearly two decades. The two companies announced Monday they had reached an agreement for Simon to buy an 80% stake in Taubman at $52.50 per share. That is a 51% premium over Taubman as closing price on February 7. The Taubman family will retain 20% ownership. The deal puts an end to one of the longest-running will they one key day stories in right mergers and acquisitions. Taubman Centers, the dollar two billion mall company that has been tightly held by the Taubman family since 1950, successfully fended off a hostile takeover bid by Simon and Westfield in 2003. But this time around, the Taubmans appeared to be in a weaker position. That is because CEO Bobby Taubman, whose father founded the Bloomfield Hills, Michigan-based mall operator, has recently bowed to investor pressure and ceded his family as tight grip on the Real Estate Investment Trust as board of directors. All nine members of the board will be up for election at the same time this year. That meant David Simon and his $45 billion mall giant could have run a slate of directors who would vote in favor of a tie-up. This is the first year Dobman seemingly does not control its own destiny in terms of an M&A transaction, Green Street advisors analyst Vince Taubman wrote in a note last week after Bloomberg reported that Simon and Taubman engaged in murder talks beginning late last year. A new board could decide to make a change in leadership and if Taubman were to lose control of its family business, a sale of the company would seem inevitable. A spokesperson for Taubman declined to comment and a representative for Simon did not immediately respond Observers to a long noted that the two companies would make a good fit with one another. Simon is the largest mall operator in the country with a portfolio of 233 malls, outlets and other properties in North America, Europe and Asia. Green Street values the assets at about $100 billion. Taubman is a much smaller company with interests in just 24 properties, valued by the advisory firm at about $11 billion. But it is widely viewed by observers to be the highest quality mall operator in the country with the best anchor tenants and mix of stores. Long after the 2003 takeover bid, the M&A drum continued to beat. Most notably, activist investor Jonathan Litt took a position in Taubman in 2016 and started pushing for changes to the company as corporate governance. The Taubman family owns roughly 2% of the company as stock. But due to the right as dual class share structure the Taubman as control 30% of the voting rights. That means a hostile bidder would need to convince six of the board as nine members to vote in favor of a sale. Another advantage the family held was the board as staggered structure meaning all nine directors normally stood for election at different times instead of at the annual meeting. Lit unsuccessfully pushed to unseat Bobby Taubman from the company as board. But he did prevail in compelling the right to hold de-staggered elections. In an open letter to investor as last year, the activist investor hinted at the possibility of waging a contentious proxy contest this year. All directors and specifically, Bobby Taubman, can be held accountable by shareholders for the company's atrocious absolute and relative performance for the first time since 2017 at the annual 2020 meeting, he wrote. Indeed, while Green Street S. Taubman noted that news of the talks didn't he necessarily describe them as hostile, he wrote, they probably aren't overly friendly conversations either. <laughs>